And Belarus's fellow former Soviet Republic Ukraine has now decided to freeze diplomatic ties with Minsk and it's considering joining the EU in levelling sanctions. Sasha Vakalina has this report. Ukraine has frozen dialogue with Belarus and has joined the European Union in condemning the recent elections in Belarus as not free or fair. The statement from Ukraine's foreign minister Dmitry Kuleba comes after a few days of heated diplomatic exchanges. On the 22nd of August, in an exclusive interview to Euronews, Ukraine's president said, Let's imagine that I am confident about myself. I'm confident in the people's vote. I'm a confident person. How can I calm everyone down? I would definitely say in one month there will be a new vote. And I'm running in a new election. Whoever wants to run, go ahead. I would invite everyone, all international observers, all of them, and I'd tell the Belarusian people, please elect whoever you want. And after that result, there would be no more questions. Belarus Foreign Affairs Ministry reacted in an official statement, saying at this difficult moment for our country we would like to see some support or at least understanding, but not the advice that already sound like a broken record. We don't need them right now. Kiev replied, saying, quote, We understand the emotional overload that our colleagues in the Belarus and Foreign Ministry are going through, but we recommend that they not reject valuable, friendly advice. And two days later, Alexander Lukashenko said a hybrid war started against Belarus. Diplomatic massacre started against us on the highest level. Unsettled neighbors of Belarus are not only openly talking about repeat elections in Belarus, but also beginning to meddle with our internal affairs. Okay? It's their point of view on repeating the elections, but they started putting pressure on Belarus openly. A diplomatic war is obvious. Sasha Vakulina, 